Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about anatomy and physiology of digestive system. So, let's get started. Esophagus Your esophagus is a hollow muscular tube that carries food and liquid from your throat to your stomach. Stomach receives food from the esophagus. It secretes acids, enzymes that digest your food. Stomach has three main parts, fundus, body, and antrum. Duodenum. The duodenum is the first part of your small intestines. It helps to further digest food coming from the stomach. It absorbs the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, fats and proteins and water from food so they can be used by your body. Liver. Your liver makes a digestive juice called bile that helps digest fats and some vitamins. Gallbladder. Your gallbladder stores bile between meals. When you eat, your gallbladder squeezes bile through the bile ducts into your small intestines. Pancreas. Pancreas produces enzymes that help to break down food. Your pancreas releases the following enzymes, lipase, amylase and proteus. Jejunum. After chemical digestion in the duodenum, food moves into the jejunum, where the muscle work of digestion picks up. Ilium. The jejunum connects with the third section, the ilium. It's about 11 feet long. The ilium attaches to the first part of the large intestine. Cecum. A pouch that forms the first part of the large intestine. It connects the small intestine to the colon. Appendix. The appendix hangs from the cecum. The appendix has no clear function and can become inflamed and infected when clogged or blocked. Ascending colon. The ascending colon or the right colon is the beginning part of the colon. It is usually located on the right side of the body, extending from the cecum upward. Transverse colon. The transverse colon passes horizontally to the left toward the spleen and then turns downwards into the descending colon. Descending colon. The descending colon stores feces that will eventually be emptied into the rectum. Sigmoid colon. Your sigmoid colon is the last portion of the large bowel before the rectum and anus. Rectum. The rectum's job is to receive stool from the colon. Let you know that there is stool to be evacuated and to hold the stool until evacuation happens. Anus. The anus is the opening at the far end of the digestive tract through which stool leaves the body. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.